Let's uh, switch gears sure. and talk about bombers. Can do. do. We have to. Do we have? <laughs> did, did you? But you know about the B two, so this is the natural progression. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, All right. Of the next sure. thing, Douglas. Sure. So this is from Popular Science. You gotta add it. So. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't hit the button. This is from Popular Science. There's a nice picture of the B twenty one, and um, mm -hmm. they lead in with a paragraph that says that developing stealth aircraft is tricky because you can't talk about them and you can't show them in pictures. And everybody was really excited when we finally got two pictures of the B-21 Raider. This picture and that picture. Mm -hmm. And they go on to speculate in some detail about where the pilots sit, <clears throat> excuse me, based on the uh, ejection <laughs> hatches. In the cockpit. Yeah, right? That's where we'll be found. You'll well, find two of them in the cockpit. They, hit, they sit right underneath these holes. And <laughs> so, as I'm so to speak, but here. standard. <laughs> they also spent quite a bit in the article talking about the exhaust ports. Yeah, and I'm losing that's... my voice, so you guys take over for a second. Uh -uh. All right. Well, um, it looks exactly like a B2 to me. But smaller. Smaller than a B2. Yeah. I, I don't know, Rick. What do you think about the <clears throat> B21 Raider? Do you have any thoughts having looked at it? Uh, it's basically the same technology as a B2. I mean, it's refined, but it's the difference. The di I give you a comparison. Like the F-117 was Lockheed's first stealth airplane. Actually, it was the first stealth airplane any place. And if you look at the F-117 next to the F-22, it's completely different. And the reason for that was that the technology to control the radar return besides materials, the shaping of the airplane, the analytical tools that they had only could handle flat plates. So they had to make the airplane faceted just to have the ability to predict what the signal is going to be. Now, at the same time that was going on, Northrop was building the whale, the uh, tacit blue, which is that thing looks like an upside down bathtub. It's, it's I don't know whether you've ever seen it or not, but it, it looks like an upside down bathtub. We call it the whale when we work on it. <laughs> and they, had a next step in, a, in the ability to predict what the radar return was going to be with curved surfaces, which is why when the competition between the Lockheed and, and Northrop for the B-2 airplane came out, the Lockheed version looked like an overgrown F-117 and the B-2 looked like a more shaped airplane. And it was basically because of the technology ability to predict what their signature is going to be because of the shape. So when you see the B-21, it's just a natural outgrowth of the B-2. And there's new, probably new manufacturing techniques. There's probably new materials involved. But the, the characteristics of the way the en engines are in buried and where the inlets work, it's not that big a change between the B-21 and the B-2. You can expect, you know, they look shaped differently and they're laying down and all this and that and the other thing. But the fundamentals are pretty much the same. And so I would suspect that the, the B-21 has a signature that's probably better than the B-2, B A, smaller, B, better shaping, better materials. And it's more of an evolutionary thing as opposed to a revolutionary thing. And in speculation, what's, what's it look in the back? Well, it's going to look pretty much the same because the technique to hide the back of the engine is pretty much the same. Unless, and I don't know this, and I hope the guys from the FBI won't be coming in the door. <laughs> Run it, mover. For, uh, <laughs> there it is. You're safe. Is that one? Or You're safe is it now, Rick. This one. Uh, Spill the beans. <laughs> For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> is that there's only so many ways you can hide the back of an engine. And in order to do that, you don't have to worry about withstanding 3,200 degrees F because it's not afterburning. So I suspect that it looks pretty much like the B2, which I'm not going to tell you what it looks like. 
I, I feel like they should have put an afterburner on it, though. I mean, are, aren't we that in the next logical phase? We need to make it go faster. That's all. I'm, I, that's just, yeah, I, I think I'm telling you some fighter pilots there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have more smash. Gotta have more I smash. Think, yeah, I think faster and more powerful would have been the way. This is Us why people. I get crayons. Are we and not... my shirt off now? <laughs>